Hi everyone, this is Rich of the Rich Maxwell channel. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, this channel is about drones and photography. So in this video, I've got a review for you talking about the Joby Video Pro 3K Gorillapod. So this Gorillapod is quite special in that it has a fluid head. So you can get that nice smooth tilt motion for your video footage and nice smooth panning motions. It also has this little attachment here to put accessories on, so you can put a light on or a microphone if you need to. Uh, that could be pretty handy if you wanted to vlog in low light conditions. Um, but yeah, I thought in this video I'd just share my thoughts and uh, impressions of this tripod. It's something I've only recently picked up, so I've not had loads of experience using it yet, but I wanted to just give my opinion on it. It's a tripod that I bought for myself. It's not a sponsored video at all. Um, so I've paid for it off Amazon with my own cash, bought it on a, a good deal recently for £40 in English money, so that's probably about $50 in US. And the reason I bought it was because I was using a cheaper version of this before, an unbranded uh, sort of Gorillapod knockoff, and I lost a part off it. It kind of rattled loose on my bag on a walk recently, so it became a bit useless really. So it's been actually demoted to holding this little light that you can see behind me here. So the part that I lost was to go here. It's like a base plate for the camera. So that's gone. And now this will just hold up lights for me to create my nice little backdrop there. Um, but yeah, this uh, Gorillapod decided to upgrade to the named branded version as we see so many YouTubers using these uh, Gorillapods. So they must be good, I thought. So let's give it a go and see what we think. Now the build of it looks good. These legs, very flexible, very rigid. And the good thing about them is they're all rubberized. So that means it can grip onto things much better than my previous tripod did. And it flexes into all sorts of positions, can go around trees, climbing frames, poles, uh, whatever you want really. And as I say, because it's got rubber on every little one of those uh, little sphere things, that means it grips really well. So that's great. The fluid head seems nice. It's got a nice smooth motion to it there. And the fluid head itself is actually metal uh, rather than plastic, so it feels like it's built to last and it's not going to break as soon as I start using it. Or if I take it on holiday, it's not going to fall apart uh, on the back of my backpack. So that's really good. It has the Manfrotto style video tripod base plate. So that's handy if you've got other tripods. You might find that your plate is interchangeable with those tripods, which can save you having to switch and change the uh, base plates on your cameras. So that's really cool. And this little attachment, like I said, could be great in low light vlogs when you need to put a little video light on there uh, or if you're traveling in a hotel room or something like that and you need to do a vlog then you can set your light up on that and you don't need to take light stands so it think i think from first impressions it looks a really good handy little product i'm pretty pleased with it it easily takes the weight off both of my sony cameras with big lenses on as you can see in the little clips here you can see that it's holding my sony a7 mark ii with a Canon lens and adapter. So that's got a bit of weight to it as the Canon lenses are a bit heavier than some of the mirrorless Sony lenses and a bit bit bulkier. So uh, that is taking a fair bit of weight there and it's holding it up no problem at all. It doesn't seem like it's gonna move or fall over. So I do trust that this will keep my camera safe and it's not gonna fall over and break a camera or a lens. So that's really good. And yeah, as I say, the, uh, the panning seems really nice. It seems really smooth. It locks out properly. So you screw this, this screw up here and then it's not gonna move anywhere. And you've got a little screw there for, well, that's for the panning and that's for the tilt that other screw, the bigger screw. So locks up nicely. It's got a little thing to hold a USB, I don't know, USB shutter release, I think it is. Some, some other little accessory that Joby have put together, but I don't have that. So that's pretty useless to me. So I'll probably leave that off as it seems like it's just gonna fall off anywhere at some point. Um, but yeah, first impressions, really good product, seems well made. I was unsure whether to go for this or the 5K and I feel like this is strong enough for the cameras that I use and I don't think I'm gonna have any issues with it breaking on me or potentially breaking any of my cameras or lenses. So I fully trust it. It seems, as I say, really solid. It takes a bit of uh, effort to twist the legs, which is good. So it's not gonna come loose off a, a pole or stick or whatever you decide to attach the tripod onto. 
So I recommend it. I think it's a good product and especially at the offer price that it's on at the moment through Amazon at about 40 quid. I think you can't go wrong for that price, especially as the standard bulk head version is about 60 pounds. So you get a video tripod for cheaper than the normal one. So I hope you've enjoyed this review. Please subscribe to my channel and watch out for more videos about drones and photography. Bye for now, everyone. Or is it just a game?